I'll be doing analysis of Night City War episode 5. So let's get on to it. You don't believe in no fate. Every day digging the grave. Stepping up here with a stace. City of dreams, city of dreams. Hello and welcome. I'm just skipping this part. Is on December. Where'd you even come from? How are we even talking? So this is a netrunner. This will be a netrunner net sequence or something like that. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. And why is Johnny Silverhand glitching so much? You weren't dreaming, B. Those were memories. You two are connected in a way I can- Whoa, what is this? Cyberware? Overwatch? Can't make head or tail of. Who? Me and who, Vic? Silverhand. Johnny Silverhand. Real talk of the town back in my day. He died like forever ago. Okay, so Silverhand died? Yeah, we know that. But how is he here? In my head. Sitting there. He burned down half the city just to prove he was right. And burned the other half just for fun. So are we going to be playing as Johnny Silverhand also? What do you want from me? Huh. Destroy Arasaka. I don't even know what that means. Do whatever it takes to stop him. Defeat him. Gut him. He all Whoa. Do what whatever it takes to stop him. Defeat him. Gut him. So this sequence will be epic and those those blades of his, coming out of his hands he So are those only blades? Already tried to take over your body You know, just for a little while Hear me asshole, a bullet to the I think I should just slow this down a bit Fuck this brain Get out! Just get the fuck out! Ah, I, I'm loving that pause. Tell me how to get rid of it. Okay. So they will use these drugs, I mean, a lot, I think. Wait, wait a second. Yep, these. These are just enhancing abilities or something like that. You don't have much time left. Whoa, where is it? What was that? You're a dick, you know. And you're a cunt. Maybe we'll fit together after all. Yeah, maybe. We're going back normal. Sometimes we like, like to share things with you. Uh, pretty sure nobody was expecting to see Keanu Reeves on stage at yep, E3 no one was. So let's go behind the scenes to see how Keanu Reeves brought rocker boy Johnny Silverhand to life. You could say it's breathtaking. Cyberpunk 2077, Johnny Silverhand. I've had the opportunity to do voiceover a few times. I'd worked on a cartoon. I had done some documentaries. I'd never done this much. Oh. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. And I've processed some shit. Changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. You know, and got <laughs> to play a character in so many kind of different ways because of different paths or threads or choices. So you almost get to play one moment, say you have a decision. Would you take a bullet for it? With three different behavioral attitudes. So that was fun. You know, he's uh, Johnny's either a dick or he's happy or he's trying to convince. You know why? Because you've always been a fucking pussy. Happy, or he's trying to convince. Know why? Because 
be different be i'm thinking that there will be a lot and lot of opportunities of these questions of like that because i played ac valhalla and there aren't many there's just like two or three sets of questions sets of ways i can go and in ac valhalla there aren't even many ways but this game there will be i definitely there will be behavioral attitudes so that was fun you know he's uh johnny's either a dick or he's happy or he's trying to convince you know why because you've always been a fucking pussy carrie so it's been fun and that was kind of what i was interested in you know the different options that the game could play you know playing the same person but with different versions of them motion capture baby johnny silver hand uh, so one of the first elements that i was involved in with the game was motion capture I've done a, a fair bit of motion capture. I did it with uh, in the Matrix films. So to start doing the motion capture for Johnny, it was all very familiar to me. The only difference I think technologically was how close they were going to real time review. But creatively, oh. it was very familiar in the sense of starting a, a library of, of gesture and the toolbox, let's say for the animators to work with for the character. So are there going to be just clips of uh, him being uh, in a band or uh, are there going to be more of his clips? Like this one, this one as such. Or am I playing as Johnny Silverhand? Will I be playing as because well he's in my brain or something like that after the first sequence you get to see Johnny as the rock star you know you hear about his military past you know and he's fighting for his survival yeah. so he's kind of got all of these things leading into the moment of this guy it's really a kind of an interpretation because I think there's a Johnny Silverhand in all of us He's got a lot of energy. He's got a good sense of humor, if not a little dark at times. He's very passionate. He cares. You know, it's, um, he's kind of naive, but he's also super experienced in life. He's got that thing we already saw life. in earlier you know, Night City Wire. Oh. He wants to change the world, you know? I and think yet, that this, this bit we will be able to play, I think. As a cause that he wants to fight against the corporacracy. Come on, don't tell me you're not interested. He's kind of looking for a different kind of freedom. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. At least I believed in something bigger. At least I had a cause. What CD Project Red has shared with me. In so more gameplay footage and this one will be in corporate i i'm thinking and the way that they talk um, about the game and what i've seen is that it's got a, a lot of freedom there's so many nomad area and the outskirts well the bike looks nice actually different paths that you can play the game on but it's not just quests of paths it's like, who are you? How do you want to play the character? If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. You can go into action, you can go into mystery, you can problem solve in different ways. And where you go in this world, there's so much detail. There's so many different things that you can go off into that are really interesting. Um, um fine. <laughs> There's a real drama to the game and emotional stakes to it. And then there's lighter side to it. And of course, the music, oh, the that design, was... technologically, how cutting edge it is. I don't think there'll be a game that looks like this. Nope, no game that yeah, looks like it's this. It's intense. I take the driver, you get his side. Whoa, who's this guy? I think there will be a side mission of him, something like that. Bye bye. 
December 10th. It Before is. we get into what it was like to actually work with Keanu Reeves, was it always him that you imagined as Johnny Silverhand? Was there anybody else that you ever considered having for the role? Yeah, Holly, it was and a I would be skipping the sport. Of the game rather than uh, a sign. Well, this is completely weird. So, okay, so I even also get to modify my brain also. Wow. Sidekick. That's that's pretty intense. I mean, there are buddy bits in the game, uh, but uh, in the end, who's she? She's uh, new. I haven't seen her ever in any of the the previous Nicely Wire episodes. So I think she must be an important character. Let's see, and we see here it's a Minitech logo, so she's with the Minitech. It's gonna be some someone higher up there. I don't know. Uh, Johnny has an agenda and he pursues it. And V has an agenda and has to pursue that. And for to get things done, V and Johnny have to work together. Things. Okay. Some of the things they do are V's, and some of the things they do are Johnny's, and some of them are important to both of them. That uh, bonds gamers, I think, to both characters. Uh, both characters' agendas become equally important. Movies. Uh, Neo is Keanu, Keanu is Neo. John yep. Wick is Keanu, Keanu is John Wick. John Constantine, Johnny M Keanu Reeves really likes the name John. And anything that sounds with it. With J. And... Score is the main vessel. I will be skipping soundtracks for, because I don't want any copyright claims or something like that. Uh... Now we're excited to reveal digital and in-game rewards for Cyberpunk 2077. It's our way of saying thank you for your support. Now every copy of the game comes with digital downloadable goodies such as the art book, <laughs> this episode yep. and take a look at that brand new gameplay trailer. The gameplay trailer. They got a lock on us. Engine's been hit. Get us out of here. I'm losing control. <laughs> so she was his girl. Engine's been hit. Get us out of here. I'm losing control. She was that. Um. Which we just saw. <laughs> Max City really looks awesome. Even in day and in night. Well, it is kind of polluted and... Well, what are these? These are like... Space buses or something like that? At CD Project Red, we dedicate ourselves to telling him. And she's also new. I maybe have seen her. Immersive stories. So this is the Nomad Land, and there, that's the Night City, and yet with chilling. every new project, we set out to make our games bigger, more complex. Deep. The Net Wire. Network, yeah, that's right. Deeply engaging. Come on, V. Let's get you home. Cyberpunk 2077 marries exploration of a vast open world with kinetic combat. So everyone has a mask, which a digital mask. Oh, so instead of a physical mask, they have a digital mask in 2077. Well, that's actually pretty nice, but. I don't know. Changing place. Are they gonna help or not? I told you, sir, this is your duty. Uh, Fair choices and robust character development. Character development. Well, they've shown a few of them previously, but this time I think they oh. show more. Want to bring. And there is literally so much to do to customize your character. Like V 
these metal clips and I can even change my eyes the beard the tattoos and everything like that you into our vision the teeth also of the dark future forgot, forgot about that see this is how this is what I can do this is how character customization will be like that's how I'm expecting at least you ever feel like the city doesn't give you a choice? You had to burn alive in it. I mean, it never existed at all. So that will be in the corpo. And the what year is, this? is 2077. An economic crisis culminating in nuclear conflict has left America in pieces. Yep. With most of the continent degenerating into law. So I will be starting with Nomad and do check that out when Cyberpunk 2077 arrives. That is, they said it will arrive in December 10th. But I'm just hoping that it arrives on December 10th and not delays further. And this game should receive the game of the year award. This should be the game of the year. All is war zones. Because this looks brilliant. People <laughs> from all over have converged on the already overcrowded Night City. One of the world's last great megalopolises. A hub amount. Whoa, oh, so. Okay, so similar to Watch Dogs Legion, I think we'll be able to hijack this or hack this and maybe even control this. In the best in resource and we see a Arasaka logo here and this will be a Arasaka obviously because they are the mill they are the giant the corporate giant and there's an Arasaka logo horses and know-how and home to manu where is it what is this factors of cutting-edge technologies Night City continues to offer the promise of a civilized future. What? No. The reality shows where you get hands. No. Wow. This isn't For the poor. Oh, maybe. but it is. But in the city streets, a merciless struggle for power rages. Yep. Gangs, corporate agents, hustlers, religious cultists, politicians, and all manner of criminals strive to outplay one another. Ordinary people get caught in the crossfire. Looking for justice. Who is this guy? This is Storm Steiner. Um, so we've been here before. Well, last time they showed a gameplay trailer consisting where we were sitting here and someone was in front of him talking to him. And I believe it was the same diner. I don't know if it was, but I think this was the same diner. In Night City, I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. In this world, consumed by never ending conflict, sometimes only an outsider. We'll get the job done. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. And that's you. An urban mercenary. A cyber-enhanced gun for hire. We seem to understand each other. Take this, too. As a mercenary, you swear no allegiance. You've chosen the outlaw life and trust that your abilities will carry you up Night City's ruthless Whoa, that is some heavy customization. And I don't think that we'll be able to do that much. But this is way too much. And I don't think no one needs this much of customization. Underground social ladder. Heart of Night City. Afterlife. I really don't know. Oh, so Afterlife was the net runner. That's it okay. right there. To thrive as a merc. So we've seen this clip before. You need the right combination and this one of gear, skills, and reputation. Dex had a load to say about you. 
I hope he wasn't overselling. With the money you earn. So this is the customized uh, shot. You can turn your Raven Micro Cyber MK dot oh. Okay. Alcuna system. Oh, eye systems. Eye enhancements and frontal cortex. What the hell? There are literally ton of cyber enhancements that you can do here. Nova system. Intergovernment free system. Okay. Don't know what that means. But. And immune system also. Self into a living weapon. Buying guns and enhancements in the hundreds. So this is the chart, this is the character chart and we can see here that there's a map uh, character journal crafting and so this will be the skill free maybe and I think there will be more than this so this is way too less As you roam the city yep, there is more than this look at this chart Okay, it's not as big. I don't think it will be as big as AC Valhalla because that chart is literally big, but it's pointless basically. And this is, I think, the perfect size. There are like perfect customization abilities. You gain the experience you need to upgrade abilities and acquire perks. Combine the right skills and gear to create a gunslinger with inhuman reflexes. Oh, so these are these are complete robots. A stealthy net runner with command of all surrounding tech. I maybe go uh, build a stealth character. I'm thinking building a stealth character would be the best idea, and well, that will be when it arrives, 10th December, and the heist. Wait for the flathead to finish. Or practically anyone in between. Where is it? What was that? Practically anyone in between. Quick hacks. Oh, so this is the hacking tab. Oh. I am literally not understanding this stuff. Suicide. Ready. So, what are these stuff? So we need Cyberdeck RAM. Okay. To quit hack, we need Cyberdeck RAM. And 13 RAM is needed to do to suicide. Oh. This is suicide. Shit. In Cyberpunk 2077, you steal a prototype biochip that can set you up for life. Being filthy rich. When its sealed container is ruptured, the only way to prevent the biochip from failing is to slot it into your head. It turns out it contains the digitized soul of Johnny Silverhand, a dead rocker boy with violence on his mind. I mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head. Right. Monkey Monkey, they have shown this before, only this much. Right now, he's out for revenge, aims to bring down the Megacorp that made the chip. Do whatever it takes to stop. Oh, so I understand the complete story. So this story will be kind of nice. Defeat him, gut him. What is in your head can shift the balance of power in Night City. The High and Mighty will do anything to lay their hands on it. Told you I'd end you someday. The choices you make will shape your story and determine how events unfold. Wait a second. So this was that um, brainstorm, um, something like that. I forgot its name. This was that. The choices you make will shape your story 
and determine how this drop it keeps on the streets how is it our circle powerful if we're getting i work for our circle oh so this is scoreboard this is you you can see a cat here so there will there must be many animals here also and i don't think no one can see him there because he's in my he's in my or V's brain events unfold v. judy you gotta take him down that's why we're here but not everything in that wait a second so this is a side mission or something gameplay like um in the game mission not a mission uh, a game within a game something like My that is this will be it's a matter of life and death so similar to gta 5 that shooting out the aliens whatever that was 5 or gta 4s i don't remember sometimes it's about and there are a Style. lot and lot of notes here choosing your look you're right your path but they still haven't said anything that where will I store my rights? Will I buy a building, a room or something like that? I don't know how and how are the saves gonna work? I'm just gonna randomly save or there will be uh, saving slots or something like, like that there placed in the world. Last time, who's at your side? Choosing how you spend your dirty money. So we can go also uh, on a roller coaster ride. That would be fun. And the cars are completely awesome. Well, last time we did about cars, and so I'm not gonna talk a lot about cars this time. Oh, that sword looks great. Welcome to the next generation of open world adventure. Immerse yourself in Cyberpunk 2077. Samurai. So that's it. That's it for the gameplay. But wait a second. Where was that mouth sync one? Cario. Uh... In this and. <laughs> Ah, this one. Video in ten different languages. So we're gonna take a closer look at the job. I really like this. That motion so capture hi, of the mouth. And... I am the CEO of Jolly Research. Motion capture of the mouth, and they were in like Toronto, Toronto. for every different languages. They are gonna um like sound different, like. The mouth moves are different, so they are creating that, and that is Here brilliant. You know. No other game does that. I don't think that any other great game even does that. In this video, we're going to show you a little bit about Cyber Tour. Rayfield's mine. Look at that mouth. Jolly is a suite of tools and a suite of services uh, that uh, result in uh, what we think is the coolest and best uh, and highest quality facial performance on characters. Oh, is that supposed to sound familiar? It's automatically generated. Their mouth moves so much and uh, comparing to other games where where it feels the unreal that the mouth moves, just the mouth moves and not the jaws. And look at here, the, the face, jaws face also on, move. Um, move. Audio dialogue, so audio much. speech. From that looks real. And something like that does take time to do. It takes a hell lot of time. From a voice actor. Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. So they are going a lot into facial analysis and so that's how we should pick up parts using um like seeing the environment seeing the facial expressions of people and seeing their body motions and stuff like that that is 
Dope. <laughs> what Jolly tries to do is it tries to get to the root of what is being expressed in the vocal performance and put that on a 3D character. That's Rogue. Best fixer in all of Night City. There is just an incredible amount of performance in this game. Sure. Yeah, Look at it, how his mouth moves. And not only his mouth moves, the jaw also moves. Because that's how it should be. A procedural solution allows you to animate over and over and over again at tremendous scale. Jolly is what power. And for every different language, it will be different. The mouth moves different. Man, no other, no other game does this. Does this much in the day. Wow. Powers every single character in the game. Of well, I don't care because I will be just playing this in English. But still, it's great that we will have something like this. And it feels real having this stuff. Cyberpunk 2077 in all of the languages that the game has been localized for. All you're doing is changing an attribute. For example, instead of issuing a set of commands that redo the animation, instead you click an attribute going from, in this case, mumble to shout. But you walk. You bleed, but you walk. You bleed, but you walk. You bleed. If the lip sync is right, you don't notice. If the faces match and match the performance, you don't notice because you're too busy paying attention to how awesome the game is. That's right. That's how it should be. How much you care about these characters, and what, what you're going to do. And that's what we want. That to me is, that's, that's the sizzle. Don't you know you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit? To tell him what's brought you here. Maybe even over a cup of coffee. So that's it. And do like, share, and subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. So that's it. And I will be playing Cyberpunk 277 when it arrives. That is on 10th December. So do check that out also. And goodbye.